In this video, we're going to continue our discussion of alternating series, and now we're going to talk about absolute versus conditional convergence, because it turns out there's two different types of convergence. And so I'm going to start you off uh, kind of again with the alternating harmonic series, and that's where we're going to start off on the next one too. Um, and I'm just going to show you this fact. This natural log of 1 plus x is given by this power series. And I am not expecting you to understand how this could be true right now. Um, I'm just asking you to accept it. Okay, and it should um, seem a little familiar in light of what we saw in the last video um, with that alternating harmonic series. So I'm just going to start off by plugging in x equals 1. Okay, and I will simplify this expression and say, all right, it's just going to be 1 minus a half plus a third minus a fourth and so on. Except I'm going to just go ahead and write out all the way up to, to eight terms. And it keeps going on beyond that. I forgot to write a dot, 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 but yeah, it'll be all right. So um, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to rearrange some of the terms. Okay, and that should be fine, right? Because we know 3 plus 4 is the same as 4 plus 3. And I'll start by just kind of grouping together the 1 minus a half. And then I'm going to go and kind of skip the third and go grab the negative 1 fourth. And I'll put it there. And then, then I'll deal with the 1 third. I'll take 1 third and then I'll grab the minus 1 sixth. Okay, and then I've got that negative, uh, next one would be negative one eighth. I'm gonna put that one there. And then I just keep going in that same pattern after that. I think the next one would be positive one fifth and negative one tenth. And then I would uh, probably subtract the twelfth and then, you know, I just keep going from there. Okay, and I would eventually use all the terms. But if I was to simplify the things in the blue boxes, I'd see, okay, one minus a half, that's a half. Minus a fourth plus a third minus a sixth that's going to be a sixth, and then the minus an eighth, and, and the rest of the terms, and so on. And if you look at this critically, especially looking at the line you know, two above it, this is half of the natural log of two. It's like, wait a second, what just happened here? Like, it should be the same thing, right? And, you know, when I say three plus four is the same as four plus three, it is. And the commutative property is still valid. That's only for a finite addition. Okay, so what we're seeing here is the idea of conditional convergence. The value to which this alternating harmonic series converges is conditioned upon the ordering of the terms. And the idea is called conditional convergence, and this means that the alternating harmonic series converges conditionally. Okay, the regular harmonic series still diverges, but this one converges conditionally by the alternating series test. Okay, so our definitions of absolute and conditional convergence. Okay, pretty much uh, if S is the series defined by the sum of A n as n runs from 1 to infinity, if the series defined by like the absolute value of the terms still converges, that'll be absolute convergence. So that's why we call it absolute convergence. And if the series converges, but if I take the absolute value of its terms and add them up and that series diverges, that's going to be conditional convergence. So let me show you like a couple of examples. Okay, so an example of an absolutely convergent series would be an alternating series like negative 1 to the n plus 1 over n to the 2. Okay, because if I consider the series that has the absolute value of the terms, well, that'll just take any of the ones that are negative and make them positive. So that will just like knock off all the negativity or the alternating part, and that'll just be the sum of 1 over n squared. Now, we know that this thing converges. We've got a reason, the p-series test, p equals 2, which is greater than 1. So if I take the absolute value of the terms, add them up, and that still converges, that's what it means to be absolutely convergent, or say that series converges absolutely. And for an example for conditional convergence, I draw up a very similar one, uh, the sum from 1 to infinity of cosine of pi n, that's going to cause it to alternate, divided by the square root of n. So I'm going to be thinking about a p-series again. Okay. Now this series is alternating with terms that decrease in magnitude to zero. I showed you that in the last video, that's why I went with this one. Uh, this is different from the alternating harmonic, but we're already, already somewhat familiar with it. Okay, and that means that uh, the series converges okay, by the alternating series test, but we don't have to call on the authority of the alternating series test or anything like that. Um, but if I think about the absolute value of the terms and adding them up, the sum of the absolute value of the terms, that's just going to be the sum from 1 to infinity of 1 over the square root of n. And that one's going to diverge. Okay, same idea, p-series test p is a half, which is less than 1. Okay, so if I took the absolute value of the terms and that series diverged, but the original series converged, that's what it means to converge conditionally. And then you see what it says at the bottom, and that's, that's going to be important for us in AP Calculus. All infinite series are either absolutely convergent, conditionally convergent, or divergent. That is a tautology. 
uh, the thing that comes up is we are gearing up for a four choice, multiple choice test, right? And those are only three options. So another option they'll throw at you is converges, but neither absolutely nor conditionally. And you should never choose that because that doesn't describe any series in AP Calculus. Okay, now equipped with those definitions and those couple of examples, I really think you are ready to get out there into the world and determine whether series are absolutely or conditionally convergent, alternating ones at least. Um, so I think that's going to be all for this video. Uh, in the next one, I'll get into the alternating series error bound, but I'm trying to keep these short and, and digestible. So that's going to be all for this video. Thanks for watching.